guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a flat style character without sketching and with adding some grain texture. For this I need this photo of a man that I took on this side from French Fashion Week and dress up him in 70s style, because in 2021 the 70s is one of the trends in fashion. If you're interested how I draw this guy, then let's go! Let's start our tutorial, let's open the photo, file, place, select the photo, place and press here. Now let's make it smaller, hold shift and make the photo smaller, move it here. Now let's lock the photo in the layers, select the layer with the photo and lock it. Ok. Now let's start here. Select black color in the fill and select ellipse tool and draw the ellipse this way. Now select direct selection tool, select this point and move it down like this. Now select the shape and make it longer and again select the point and move it down. Ok. Now select the shape of the head and make it a little wider this way. Now again select and fill to stroke. And now select pen tool and draw the, ha the hair, here hold the shift, we need here a straight line, here like this and here it can be ugly, this way. Now stroke to fill and here stroke to fill. Select the shape of the head, copy and paste it, select the, hairs, the hair and the copy of the head and Pathfinder intersect and this, the face color will be this and let's continue to draw. Select with the help of direct selection tool these two points and drag them this way. Now select the ellipse tool and draw the ear here. Move it like this. Now Transform, Reflect, Vertical, Copy and move here, select both ears and align, the, align them this way. Ok, now Rectangle tool and draw the neck. Ok, now it's great. Let's move on. Now select the black color for a while. Select rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this. Now select direct selection tool and move the pain the points like this. Okay. Now select pen tool and start from this point and let's continue to draw here now the point here now hold and drag it this way now select this point and move it here Okay, and here like this. Uh, now select these two shapes 
and Pathfinder inter, uh, unite. Okay, now let's move this point with help of direct selection tool a little up like this. Okay, now select pen tool and start from this point and the next point here you need to hold and drag it this way select this point here the straight line and here again hold and drag and let's close the path okay now the same here start from this point and here hold and drag okay here a straight line and here the same hold and drag okay and let's close the path okay now select all three shapes shapes and Pathfinder unite okay and select these two points with help of direct selection tool and you need to round corners this way okay here it's great now let's draw the hand select pen tool and you need to draw this way okay now let's make the hand the hand more softer select these two points and round corners select this one and round it and the same here select this point and round and here the same and here now it looks better and here and uh, and here okay uh, now select direct section tool select their short and move down this point okay now let's draw here select rectangle tool and draw the rectangle let it be green color to see it and draw the rectangle like this okay now hold this point and drag it here now the same hold and drag the same select this point drag here and select this point and drag here okay now effect rope bulge and here we need these options okay object expand appearance now let's draw the next shape select rectangle tool and draw this way now direct selection tool select this point and drag it here okay now select the whole shape and move it a little to the left 
like this okay now select this point and drag it a little up okay now select this shape copy and paste it now right click transform reflect and vertical okay and move it here okay now you need to fix all problems here uh -huh. now let's select both shapes and at first align them this way okay okay and now let's fix here and let's look here here the same okay now it's great now select the Th uh, this point and move it up and the same here and this point drag here and this point drag here now select this point and move it here and this sorry this point uh sorry sorry and only this point move here okay now you can unlock the photo and delete it or move it here like this this shape this man here and the photo here let's move it more here okay now it's great uh, now let's continue let's fix here select this point and move this way and select this one and move here now select these three shapes and pathfinder unite okay now let's add color here select the pink one here select uh, this green and um, here this color okay and now let's move this shape to front and now this shape and the hand to front okay now let's draw the shoes select blue color and pen tool and it will be very easy hold shift to have straight line now the same hold shift and here hold shift and here you need to hold and drag this way okay and close the path now drag section tool and this point hold and drag this way okay now here select black color and rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this okay and now it's great now select all shapes and send them back move it a little up okay now here select uh, blue color and rectangle tool and draw here the shape like this and move it here okay now effect warp bulge and here these options okay object expand appearance okay now uh, select this shape copy and paste it move here and make it 
thin, uh, make it shorter and send back this shape okay now align them now you see they aligned okay now let's delete the photo we don't need the photo and let's start to add shapes to our man at first the face select ellipse tool and the eye move here copy and paste it or hold out and drag it here and now draw the nose we have of the help of pen tool here we need the stroke and this brush and here 0 0.5 okay now select white color and ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse stroke to fill and select direct selection tool and drag this point down okay the smile is ready move it here now uh, select uh, the direct selection tool and move this point a little up like this okay and select the neck and move it the same up now select the neck select this color or any color on you need the color in their fill uh, move the neck back and here let's draw one more line select black color in the stroke and pen tool and draw here the line like this okay now select the line brushes and this brush and here 0 0.5 select the neck and make it this color okay now again select pen tool and draw here this shape now let it be here a stroke and black color and this brush and here 0 0.5 now right click select right click transform reflect vertical copy and move here these shapes like both shapes and align them okay now select the body without head and make the body a little bigger like this more bigger and more bigger I think now it's great now select the whole man move it here and hold shift make it a little smaller like this okay let's continue select pen tool and again black color in the stroke and draw here this shape okay and select again this brush but let it be one okay now the same here draw the line okay and when you need to exit pen mode you need to press escape now select this brush and let's draw here okay 
Okay, escape and this brush and the same here. Escape and this brush. Okay. Now let's select uh, their white, uh, sorry, not the white, uh, this color, uh, this one. And let's select pen tool. We need this color in the stroke. And let's draw. Okay. We need to draw here the lines. This way. Okay. Now, if you want, you can move the lines. Uh, sorry, only the lines. If you don't like the position of the lines now you need to select only the lines okay and if you select something more you need unselected effect distort and transform and zigzag and select here smooth here this one and here these options OK, and select this brush. Object, expand appearance, and group the shapes. Now select the hand and this point, and you need to round corner here. Great. Now select this color in the stroke and pen tool. And draw here the shape like this. If you don't like something, you always can under the action with help of Ctrl Z. Okay. And if you don't like the shape, you always can select it and select Smooth tool and smooth it in the places you don't like. Now select this shape and this brush. And here 0 0.5. Okay. Now select the shape and the hand and make them bigger like this. And you can copy and paste the hand or just right, right click and transform reflect vertical copy and move the hand here and send it back and move like this. Okay, I think now it's great. Now select these shapes and send them back. Okay, now let's work with this color and uh, select a um, pen tool and draw here the shape like this. Okay, it's very easy. Great. Now move it a little here. Now select uh, pen tool and draw here the line. Okay, and we need this color for this line in the stroke and select this color. Okay, now select this color and pen tool and draw 
here this shape it will be the shadow and here opacity multiply okay now uh, sorry selection tool and these two shapes bring to front and this shadow transparency 50 percent okay and now let's select these shape shapes and transform reflect vertical copy and drag it here okay now the same we need to draw here the shape with help of this color and pen tool opacity multiply and here the same 50 percent and the same these two shapes bring to front okay now let's add the grain here select black color and you need to be sure that you don't have the stroke select pen tool and draw here like rectangle okay now you need to open window uh, transparency make mask clip white rectangle select rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this black and white gradient now effect texture grain okay and these options are great okay and now we need to select here recta uh, the corner 45 degrees and select gradient tool and a little play with the gradient till you will like it select the normal mode okay now you can make the rectangle a little bigger like this and move it here now right click transform reflect vertical copy and move it here okay here is great now select pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw here straight line don't forget to hold shift uh, now this brush and move it a little like this okay now select ellipse tool and black color in the fill and draw the ellipse here okay now again select ellipse tool and draw the small ellipse okay now you can copy and uh, paste the small ellipse and move it here select all three shapes and align them okay now select pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw here the line like this and draw here one more line now select both lines and this brush and move them uh, sorry move them both here transform reflect vertical copy and move here okay now again pen tool and draw here 
straight line like this you need to hold shift and now you need to hold and drag here to draw this line now again this brush and now you can move these three shapes a little to the left okay now it's great again select pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw here these lines escape and select brush tool this brush sorry okay let's continue select again pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw here the line like this and this brush and the same here and this brush okay now let's add grain here select pen tool and black color in the field and again let's draw here the rectangle like this now again transparency make mask clip white rectangle and rectangle tool draw the rectangle like this black and white gradient uh, effect uh, texture grain and these the same options okay now so uh, reverse the gradient okay now select gradient tool and move the gradient here you can turn the gradient like this and move a little down the same you can play with their slider like this and move the gradient till you like it now return to the normal mode uh, transform reflect vertical copy and move the rectangle here now we need to fix it a little move here now select this point and move it here and this point here now it's perfect and let's draw here the other shapes we need pen tool and in the stroke and let's draw here this shape with help of pen tool and this brush okay now again pen tool and draw the first shape here now select this brush and hold odd and make two copies now move them like this okay now select pen tool and let's draw here the bow and this brush and let's make it thinner let it be 0 0.5 and select the pen tool and let's draw here one more ball hold and drag and close the path and this brush and the same 0 0.5 okay now let's draw here again pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw draw uh, this shape make it a little bigger okay and now we need to draw three short lines 
draw the first one, select this brush, make it shorter, hold ALT and make two copies. Now you need to align these shapes. Um, you need to align them like this and uh -huh, like this, sorry. <laughs> okay. And now you need to select the bow and copy and paste it and move it here. Okay. It's great. Now select pen tool and black color in the stroke. And let's draw like details. Draw this one and this brush and here. It's add uh, the dynamic to our illustration. Select both shapes and this one. Okay, and now select one more pen tool and black color in the stroke and draw the last lines. And one more here. Okay, now select the man, object, expand appearance and object, uh, shape, expand shape and make it smaller and move here. Now we need to draw a line under the man, uh, please select black color and pen tool and hold shift and draw the straight line. Okay, now select this brush and move the line a little to the, le to the left. Okay, now select this color, it's our background, select uh, the rectangle tool, hold shift and draw the square and move it to back. Okay, and let's select the hair and make it this color. Okay guys, our flat character is ready. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And if you want to share with me your works, you can do it on my Instagram account. The link will be under this video. And see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.